What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with a Duraludon team, one of my favorite Pokemons from Pokemon Sword and Shield that also features Drought Groudon and Solar Power Charizard. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click off this video and never watch my videos again. I'm just playing, but uh, stay a little bit longer and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, I'm streaming three plus days every single week over on Twitch. So if you guys want to catch extra content from me, head down the link in the description below, Jeans25 on Twitch, hit that follow button and turn on notifications so you know when I go live. But let's get started here with today's team preview, starting off in that top left corner with this one and only Groudon. And this Groudon is a little bit different from the normal Groudon we're used to seeing this one has a choice scarf alongside with the drought ability it's rocking precipice blaze rock slide bulldoze for speed control and then we got rock tomb for coverage and also speed control on top of that so really great move set for a choice scarf cannot wait to showcase this ground on second pokemon on the squad is going to be thunders over here defiant assault vest and then a normal move set that pretty much every single thunders rocks it's wild charge fly superpower and crunch it just works so well if we can get that defiant proc with maybe an intimidate and get that plus two on attack and you can get rolling out from there Middle left is going to be Yvelta over here with Dark Aurora and the Black Glasses to boost its dark typing moves. It's got Foul Play, it's got Sucker Punch for first certain priority, it has Protect, and then it's rocking Disabled. So hopefully we can actually use that move and show it off to its fullest potential because I feel like that move is very situational. It can be good if we use it right, but it can definitely be bad if we use it wrong. Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be the Heart and Soul, our big special attacker. It is going to be Solar Power Charizard with that light bulb. You guys know the damage that this Pokemon can do in a drought, so we'll probably be Dynamaxing him a good bit in today's video. He's got Heat Wave, he's got Hurricane, he's got Blast Burn, and then last but not least, he has Protect. Bottom left hand corner is going to be our support Sableye with Prankster and the Eject Button. It has Trick to hand off that Eject Button, and then it has Sunny Day to set the sun. Ally Switch to protect Ally Pokemon, and Faint for, you know, hitting through Protects, and I think it's a first turn priority move. I don't use Faint too much, so I can't tell you. I guess we'll figure it out in today's video. Final Pokemon on the squad is the reason I picked this team. It's Duraludon over here. I love this Pokemon so much, and it really has fallen off ever since Restricted Mons have came into the game. I should say ever since Urshavu's came into the game. I feel like he started falling off. It's got Star Wars as its ability, alongside with the Focus Ash. Then it's got Dragon Claw and Metal Burst for two stab moves. Foul Play for coverage, and last but not least, it has Protect. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder. Let's get some wins with this Duraludon Charizard Drought team. Let's get this video started off with a big fat W. We're going up against a pretty strong team. He's got Zacian, Calyrex as his restricted mods, and then he's got Landorus, Blastoise, Rillaboom, and Defiant Thunders. We have no Intimidate Pokemon, so I'm not too worried about the Defiant. I kind of want to lead the Yveltal just in case he leads to Calyrex, and I just feel like it's a great lead all around. So... Let's get rocking with that Pokemon. I could also go in with Sableye. Sableye's not too bad. Because we can ally switch, or not ally switch, we could uh, trick, hand off that Jack button, and sucker punch at the same time. That is not a bad turn. That is definitely not a bad turn. But if he leaves an Intimidate Pokemon, that could be a problem for us because Yvelta is physical attacking. So we'll see. I think I think uh, Sableye could be good. Or I can just go in with, like, say, Charizard right here, which would not be bad whatsoever. And maybe just Dynamax him and swap it to the Drought. Or I can just get the Drought rolling right off the rip. That might be my play. Drought off the rip? I kind of like that. I kind of like the drought off the rip. It just seems it just seems good. It seems too good. So I'm going to roll in drought off the rip. We have Choice Scarf on our Groudon, so he probably is going to go first. And then I'm going to roll into Yvelta in the back end. And then last but not least, I don't want to get the route on out here. Have some fun with this Pokemon right here. Even though a lot of different Pokemon do a lot of work on him, I just feel like the route on is going to be fun and we can rock out with him. He has a Focus Edge too, so that actually gives him a bit more value. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look, grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But let me know for question of the day, what do you guys think of the new Terrasilize feature? Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It's a new gimmick. It's kind of like Dynamax in this game. You can use it on other Pokemon. I think it's going to be very, very cool. If, if done right, if done right. So we don't have too much information on it, but from what I saw so far, it looks really, really cool. You guys let me know. You guys answer in the comment section down below. But he's going to end up going these two, and that's kind of tough. Just a little bit. Just a little tough. I could drop a Rock Slide, which I'm thinking of doing, or I could Rock Tomb. I could definitely Rock Tomb and get rid of that, uh, Slow down that. Oh, but then now proc defiant, which I do not like. I do not like. Um, what do I want to do here? Who's faster? Who is faster? Thunders or my lovely little Charizard? That's a real question. Probably him. And at this point, you know what? I'm just going to do this. I am going to choice into a Rock Tomb and slow this Pokemon down. Even though I'm going to trigger defiant, we're still going to rip with it. So I'm going to do that and I'm just going to G Max Wildfire across the board. The GMAX Wildfire should be able to finish this thing off in the drought and just be good all around. And plus, Calyrex might even protect. So I'm going to end up Dynamaxing. 
And I cannot believe he did not Dynamax. That kind of hurts my soul. Unless he's just slower than me. Fine. That would definitely be fine. I might just waste a Rock Tomb here. I might just waste a Rock Tomb and that could hurt the soul. Let's see what he does. Come on. Just Dynamax that, uh, Dynamax that little Thunderous. And he doesn't. Oh, and he Eerie Impulses me. Hurts the soul. Hurts soul, but still, we're going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. He's going to roll into a, uh, Astro Barrage. Actually, we outspeed, which is hilarious. And look at that damage we just did. Chipping up some big old damage on him. We're doubling down into him. We're going to proctify him, but again, I really don't care. And he eats a berry. Oh, and this is Prankster. Never mind. He's Prankster, so we can get rid of him right here, right now. This should be able to take him out. Even though we're minus two, I still see us getting rid of him. I still see us getting rid of him. So G-Max Wildfire is going to fly through him. Again, he's gone. He is gone. Get him out of here. Look how much damage I see. That is insane. I'm Eerie Impulse, and I'm ripping on the damage board. That's big. That's big all around. Uh, from here, I'm just going to slow down the Calyrex with a Rock Tomb. I'm choice into the Rock Tomb. We're chipping up damage on that. That might have taken off Sash, and... Hmm. Boosting speed wouldn't really do anything. Because both these Pokemon are probably going to go out very, very soon. So boosting speed. Not going to really help us out. He's going to throw out next Pokemon. It is going to be this guy. He is going to intimidate me. And at this point, uh... Can I eat up another Astro Barrage? I think I can. I think I can. So you know what? I have Yvelta in the back end. I'm just going to slow this guy down. I'm going to get after him. I'm going to double down into this Pokemon. Hopefully he doesn't guard. We're hoping he doesn't guard. But yeah, he's going to Dynamax. Like I said, I have Yvelta in the back end. I can just Sucker Punch and really just rip him. I really do like that Pokemon. He probably has Zaxxion as his final Pokemon. And I do have my Doralus. I feel like we're pretty good. And again, Yvelta does some work. Onto, uh. Onto. Oh, there's a good play. Onto Zacian. If he doesn't. If he's not rocking the. What's it called? If he's not rocking the, uh. Play rough. Astro Barrage gonna fly through here. Like I said, we should be able to eat that. We do. And Wildfire's gonna poke out here. So not bad damage. I gotta bring out Yvelta and Duraldon. And Grimnate is going to get boosted. Which kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's fine. At the same time, it is fine. Wildfire's gonna fly out here. It's not gonna do too much damage, but still, it's gonna chip up a decent amount. Look at that, dude. If we were not minus two, we would have taken him out, which would have been huge. He's just going to drop an airstream. He's going to boost speed. So he has speed on us all. And now my problem here is... My problem here is, do we think he's going to read the Sucker Punch? And we could just get after his uh, Lando? He's obviously going to drop a Quake. 100% he's going to drop a Quake. 1,000% he's going to drop a Quake into my Duraldon. But Duraldon's going to be able to eat that, and he's just going to be able to chip up some damage. He's going to take a Life Orb damage alongside Wildfire damage. And I feel like Duraldon, if he could just get off a shot onto that, we should say bye-bye to uh, Lando. And again, if Sucker Punch can come out here, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I'm going to roll in. Got to roll into these two. And this is going to be a close first battle. It's a close first battle. Again, if I can just hit this thing with a Sucker Punch, that's gorgeous. That's lovely. Uh, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Definitely real close. Definitely close a little bit. Dark, Dark Aurora is out and about. I could sucker like yeah, we got a sucker punch right into this thing. He might end up protecting, and I could just foul play across the board because foul play should be able to take him out. This attack's kind of high. I could go into Dragon Call for stab, but foul play should be able to do it. He's a physical attacker. Let's do it. I'm gonna go for foul play because he might protect Calyrex. Let's see. He does not. Beautiful. So sucker punch coming in hot. See you later, Calyrex. Get him on out of here. That's why I brought that Yvelt. Yo, Yvelt is just the Calyrex counter. The Calyrex counter. He's probably gonna quake into me, right? He's gonna quake into me. So actually, good thing we went into a foul play. This special defense boost won't matter. We trigger Focus Ash, and he's going to bring out Zacian for his final Pokemon. This is going to be close. This is going to be super close. Again, if he hits me with a Poirot, we're in trouble. So that thing's going to go down to this uh, foul play, no problem. But say see you later to him, and then it's just turning into a 2v1. And it's, it's so tough. It is so tough. We're sitting here in such a tough position. In such a tough position. Do I because he's gonna bring out Zacian. I I gotta protect the I gotta protect the Yvelto, right? I gotta protect the Yvelto because he knows I can do some damage. Or do I just double down on foul play? I'm gonna protect the Yvelto. And just foul play with him. Ah, I hate this game. Hmm. Metal Burst could have been good. It could have been good onto that Pokemon. But I'm just going to go for his foul play. We're going to hope that the Yvelta goes into my... Or the Zashin goes into my Yvelta. We'll see what he wants to do here. I end up protecting. Come on, yo. Go for that play rough into my Yvelts. 
Go for that play rough into my belt though. Let's go. Great read by Jeans. That's big time reads by Jeans. How much can this foul play do? Because then we get two foul plays coming after this guy. Two foul plays coming after this guy. Ooh, it didn't do that much. It didn't do that much. But we got that damage chipping. Got that damage chipping. We got that damage chipping. I got to go for another foul play. And we'll double down with foul play. Right? Yeah. It's our play all day. Or play all day. Double down on a foul play. He's going to go for a play rough. Miss it. He connects. Can he eat this? Probably not. Right? No shot. That hurts his soul. That hurts his soul. And we're going to lose this. That hurts, man. We're really going to lose this battle. Foul play coming out here because we're out of wildfire damage. We're out of wildfire damage. We're out of wildfire damage. Because if we had wildfire damage, I would just protect out. But, dude, we lost this one. That hurts, man. That hurts. If Yvelta was able to get off, I probably should have went for a sucker punch. I probably should have went for a sucker punch. That probably would have been my play. But, yeah, this one's definitely over with. What a battle. What a first battle. Comes down to the wire. His ass is going to end up going for a behemoth blade. 100 on an accuracy board is 100, so he ain't missing. He ain't missing. He's going to take out my Duraldon. What a solid first battle. Went the distance. Came down to the wire, but we ended up losing. Last battle came down to the wire, but you guys know Zassian is the GOAT of Sword and Shield. Like, he's just so hard to counter. He's just so good in the back end. He did his work, and he got himself the victory. But we're hopping into our second battle, looking for our first victory, going up against another Zassian team with Kai Ogre, Stormdring, Gaston, Whimsicott, and then he has, uh, what is that? Not Thunderous. It's a Landorus and Zapdos. Okay. How should I go into this? I could go into Defiant here, but I think he's going to lead, like, Whimsicott, Zapdos, or, like, Whimsicott, Kai Ogre, either or, right? That does sound... Very, very good. I could go into like a Pokemon like Sableye just to set the sun. And I could go into a Pokemon like Kukumu. I kind of dig that, but at the same time, it's like, eh. Do I really dig that? I could go into Choice Scarf. I could choice up, set the sun, and then go from there. I kind of dig this. Actually, no, we're faster. So if he goes in, this is tough. This is tough. Uh, let's go here. Let's go on with Sableye. Charizard Sableye, and then we'll bring Groudon and back in. I really like that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's grab ourselves one here in battle number two. Okay, yeah, dude, that last battle came down to the wire. I really didn't think we had it, but, you know, Zassian's just... It's just Zassian. It is just Zassian. <laughs> he's just so... He's so hard to go up against. He's just so good all around. He outspeeds everybody. He hits like a truck. He's actually decently bulky. You know, how hard he hits and how fast he is. Whereas, like, Calyrex is, like, perfect. Like, Calyrex is... He's super strong, but it's just like... You hit that thing, it's dead. That's how I think Zassian should be. That's how I think Zassian should be. So he ends up leading these two, which is totally fine. I think I just Dynamax. Uh, maybe go for an Airstream and then uh, Trick. Or well, not Trick, uh, Sunny Day. I could Sunny Day pop. I could Protect and then Sunny Day. Or I could just go here and go for Airstream. It kind of works well. Yeah, let's Sunny Day this. Sunny Day. And we'll take a bit of speed. Because I think he just Tailwinds and goes into, you know, Water Spout. And then after this, I mean, Sunny Day, I feel like Charizard should be able to eat it and start taking a bit of speed. We should be able to start trying to roll out from here, but it really depends. Maybe he goes for a Thunder. Maybe he goes for a Thunder in the rain, and we end up just, you know, doing him dirty with the sun. But chance are he's going for that Water Spout Tailwind combo. And I'm going to just set this, this sun. Just get the sun going. He's going to taunt me, and it does not affect me. Your pranks or stuff don't affect me. So I still get off Sunny Day. And you don't even have Tailwind, which means Charizard outspeeds at this point, which is huge. That's actually really big because we're going to be able to get off damage before a water spout even comes out here. That's great. That's great news right there. That's huge news. That's huge news. So this comes through here. If he's going for water spout, he's really doing nothing. And that's, that's a great first turn for us. Wow, dude. In the master tier. Going for the taunt onto the save line. But, you know, I do that stuff sometimes. So I can't, can't blame him. Cannot blame him. Water spout coming out here. Tastiest snack we ever had. The tastiest snack we ever had. My Pokemon are sitting there, eating it all up. And actually, I'm glad we had the eject button right there because Sableye kind of did his job. We could swap into a Pokemon like Hold on. Now, I'm going to save my ground because he's going to try to take weather. I'm going to go into a Pokemon like Evans. You have Veltal can come out here with the black glasses. I really like that. I'm going to go into the Wildfire into the Whimsicott slot and then a Foul Play into the Kyogre slot because I do think he's going to swap Kyogre. And I think he's just going to go from there. Right? That ain't bad. That ain't bad at all. That ain't bad at all. Yeah, we're just going to wildfire, start setting that up, and this wildfire actually does more, so I'm going to go fire it that way, and I'm just going to go into here. I'm just going to go into here. I think he sets up a tailwind here, right? Tailwind time for him. He's Dynamax and Ogre. Dynamax and Nakai Ogre. Wow. That's definitely surprising. So he's going to set the sun. I mean, he... Oh, we're not the sun. He's going to set the rain. 
And I wish I would have. I wish I would have airstream this turn. I really do wish I would have airstream. I really do wish I, I would have airstream. He's gonna go first, and he's gonna geyser me, which I think he should be able to eat up here. I think Charizard should be able to eat this up. Cool. Thank you, son. Sun does me good. I do not think we can take out the Wimscott, but it might be kind of close. Might be kind of close. In the rain, I actually do think we're going to be able to take out Wimscott with the wildfire damage on top of that. Charger just does so much damage. Yeah, look at that. Bring it right down the stash. Wildfire's chipping for four turns, which is huge. We're going to say bye to Wimscott. And we're going to also get off some damage onto, uh, onto this guy over here with this foul play. Ooh, a Sucker Punch can take him out. I like that. So Sucker Punch can take him out. I know he's going to have speed after this, but then we still have Groudon. We have Sable in the back end. I can ally switch choice into whatever I want. But yeah, Sucker Punch is definitely flying here. We are definitely going for that Sucker Punch. Not trying to allow Kyogre to get off a turn. And I could guard Charizard just to waste out some turns. But let's see who he goes into. It's going to be Zass. I feel like Zassian's poking out here, right? Zassian coming in. Ooh, Zapdos is coming in. So Zip Zap is coming in hot. Uh, Yeah, we're just going to go for a uh, Airstream here to get off as much damage as it can. Actually, would Wildfire do more damage? It's in the rain, but it's normally effective. So I think that would do more damage. I'm just going to Sucker Punch right here and try to get a first by Ogre. Sucker Punch comes out. We're going to say bye-bye to Ogre. Cool, solid turn. Love me some Sucker Punch. Love me some first turn priority with the Evelthal. With the Black Glass, too, in the Dark of War. Makes his Dark Moves do so much more damage. Let's see what Zap this goes into. Rise of Voltage. That's going to say bye-bye to me. So we go down there. Uh, We're going to find out who his final Pokemon is. So I might as well bring out... Do I bring out what's called Groudon now, or do I wait for Tailwind to end a little bit? I think I wait for Tailwind just to end a little bit. And then bring out the Groudon choice. Because some of them Pokemon might be faster with us in Tailwind. So I could take items with Trick. I could do other stuff. He's going to go into Lando, and I think Lando might be holding the orb, or was Kyogre holding the orb? I think Kyogre might have been holding the orb. This is a solid little battle. A great little battle here. I mean, I have Groudon to finish off that Zap, though, so I feel like we should just target down this Lando. Right, targeting down this Lando might be a better play. Hmm, I'm going to ally switch because I think a Rising Bolt is coming across. And I'm just going to foul play it right now. Though. Let's get after him. Let's get after him. So ally switch going to poke. I'm trying to waste out these turns. I have the rock moves. I can do a lot of damage on the Zapdos and even Landers, but should be fine. Hurricane's going to poke out here. And wow, he's going in that slot. Do not duck me. Do not give me the ducks. Yo, come on now. Come on now. Go, Develta. Please land this move. Rock side coming out here. Wow, so that was a terrible move by us. We come on, Yveltal. I need you. I need you here. I flinched. I really just flinched. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Um, hmm. I'm going to Sucker Punch. Who do I chip up? I'm going to chip up you with Sucker Punch. And ch -ch 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 -ch. do I take someone's item? Alice Switch isn't going to do anything. Do I take somebody's item? Whose item do I take? Who do we think has a better item? I'm going to take your item. I don't know why. I don't know what you have. Maybe a Lumberry. But I'm taking your item. I'm snagging it. I'm ducked. Come on, yo. Land it. Come on, yo. I needed that. I needed that sucker punch. Of course, I'm getting quacked up on. And Confucius do me real dirty. So we're going to trick here. We're probably going to go out here. But again, I still have this lovely little ground. That choice. Oh, we get this extra belt. That's good. That's a good take. That's a good take. Hurricane comes out here. That's going to take us out. And now it comes down to 2v1. Which I think Groudon should do decently fine here. He's going to take life orb damage. Maybe should have took his life orb. But I don't really see him doing too much damage to us. Like, he can't really Hurricane anymore. Because he's in Sunny Day, and he can't go for an electric move, and her Tailwind's gone, which is gorgeous. That's exactly what I wanted. I want that Tailwind to waste out just so my Groudon can come out here and outspeed both this Pokemon and get after it. So, Groudon's coming out here. They do not know I'm choice. They do not know I'm choice. I'm running Rock Slide. I'm running Rock Slide. Beautiful little Rock Slide move coming out here. Let's send it. Super effective on the Zapdos. Can chip up some damage on the laners. I feel like two Rock Slides should be able to do work and finish off this match. But we have a chance of flinching, too. Which is really good. And we got to connect them first and foremost. So first rock side connects. We take out Zapdos. Landers takes no damage. You take... What? Why are you so bulky? Why is he so bulky? 
Why is this thing so bulky? This thing is so bulky here. Can we get some flinches? We're gonna start getting flinches. We can only eat up one more EQ. Can we get some crits and flinches? Why is this thing so bulky? Flinch him, flinch him. Come on, yo. He was flinching me all day. We need to flinch him here. We need a flinch or a crit here to win this badge. Let's get it, Groudon. Let's get it, Groudon. You got this in the bag, dude. You're just the best. You are the best. Come on, flinch or crit? Flinch or crit? We need a flinch. Give me the flinch. Let's go. Let's go. Now land the rock slide. Let's go, baby. End the match. Show them who's the best. You're the best, Groudon. There's nobody better. Not one Pokemon better than you. Let's go. Eat it up. Eat it up. Night, night. We're just going to start waving by this Landers right now. See you, Landers. See you, Landers. Like I said, yo, my Groudon's not missing his rock slides. There it is. Big time flinch coming in for us. And we grab ourselves our first victory for today's video. My main man Groudon clutches it up in battle number two, landing four rock slides in a row, and on top of that, getting the flinch when we need it. But we're hopping into our third and final battle, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team with Kai Ogre, and then he has Tornado in case he wants to take speed, and then he has Clefairy, Intimidate, uh, Incineroar, and then Grimstarl for support. How should I play this one? I definitely want to get the Raudon out here. Let me just lead the Raudon. He's just such a cool Pokemon. Such a cool Pokemon, but I gotta watch out for that Intimidate. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I could go into like a Pokemon like Sableye. Hmm. What does Jeans want to do here? I could go Charizard and and you. I kind of need somebody who can protect. I kind of want to go into. I could go into Groudon. Groudon has that choice. I just have that choice. It's really good. But you know, I'm gonna go Charizard. I'm gonna go Groudon, and I'm just bring Groudon alongside with Yveltal. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Let's lock it in. Let's grab ourselves this one. We need this win. This would be great. This would be great. Solid second battle. Like I said, yo, Groudon, main man, yo, clutched up in that second battle. I was sitting there, I was like, yo, we need a flinch or a crit. We need a flinch or a crit. My boy was like, yo, I got you. I got you. Don't, don't even worry, Jeans. Slaps up with that flinch, and he's just like, no problem. I'm not missing this last rock slide for the win. And he connects. He goes Kai Ogre and Fairy. Uh, that ain't too bad. I mean, I feel like I just metal burst him, right? Does he outspeed me is the question. He should be faster than me. I could metal burst him. Could just rip him with metal burst and stalwart oh i could dynamax and go for stalwart that's not a bad play let me see your stats dude because stalwart will cancel out this follow me which is actually really really good for us let me see your stats You're too shabby we don't have a steel move but actually we do but does that turn into a steel move or does it turn into a what's it called or does it turn into Oh, it does turn into Steel Spike. That is gorgeous. But I would rather rip with this. Yeah, I'm with this all day. I would rather rip with this. Yeah, yo, let's Dynamax Raul down the last battle. I like it. I like it all day. Is this G... It's not G-Max, because it would have went to G-Max Depletion. But, yo, dude, I'm with it. I'm liking this, yo. The Raul on back in action in ranked battles. He looks so sick. Speaking of looking sick, the new, uh... The new models in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet look incredible. The shading, the texturize on the Pokemon just look awesome. Helping, oh, helping hands get I don't like that one bit. Did I protect my Char? Did I protect him? I did. Cool. We protect the Char. We know that the water spot's coming in hot. Right on. You should be able to just say easy eats, baby. It should be easy eats for you all day. Thank you very much, Rout on. Well, I actually did. Dude, Water Spout does way too much damage. Look at that. Not very effective. Doing over 200 damage. Like, come on now. Come on now. We whip up some damage into him. Um, hmm. What do I do from here? I'm hoping my boy can outspeed that Kyogre. Unless it's Choice Scarf. Unless it's Choice Scarf. I kind of just want to go into a Hurricane. And then Steel Spike across the board. Wow, dude, Water Spout really did that much damage. It really did me dirty like that. It really did me dirty like that. It's no fun. That is no fun. So I'm hoping this thing isn't Choice Scarf. It could go for a follow me. I mean, that would just drag my uh, out on shot. We'll see what he wants to do here. Oh, come on, dude. Dynamax is no Hurts the soul. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. So he's going to Dynamax the Ogre, and I wonder who he's getting rid of. He might just follow me the shot. I hate to see it. The Dynamax of the Ogre comes out here. But I think he was choice. I think he was choice. So we just like, let me not choice this. I still have Groudon in the back end, which works really, really well for us. Let's see how he plays this one. He's just going to go for the follow me. 
Hurricane's gonna slide over here. We should say bye bye to Clefairy. But I wonder if he just takes out Charizard. Actually, outspeeds him. Wow. That is surprising. He outspeeds him like that. That is surprising. He's gonna take out Charizard. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I am fine with that. I don't mind it too much. This Steel Spike's gonna fly. Should be able to do a decent amount of damage over here. Bring the Fairy. But Fairy is really bulky. But it's still, I was gonna say, takes it out. But brings it down to one. So we bring it down to one. We got a crit. Ooh! Nice little crit. Even though we were doing a huge chunk of damage regardless. So we bring Fairy down to one. I could go to Groudon. I kind of want to at this point. Because A, we change up weather. B, we have Choice Scarf. And C, we have Double Heading Moves. Kind of with that. I'm kind of with dropping a bulldoze. I'm kind of with dropping a bulldoze. Just a slow him. But is that my play? That's the real question. Is that my play to slow down this Kyogre? I do not think a bulldoze and a what's it called can take him out. What other Pokemon does he have? I mean, we really don't need speed. We really do not need speed outside this Ogre. Outside this Ogre, we really do not need speed. So I'm going to drop this and... I'm going to double down into this guy over here. We have Stalwart, so we know that that move does not get pulled back. He's going to Helping Hand. And yo, can this guy really take me out? We got Landy's Blades. Bla Blades do land, which is great. We chip up some damage. And can this guy really take me out? That would hurt the soul. But it takes me out in the drought. Don't take me out in the drought. Do not do this to me. Do not do this to me. I hate this game. I hate Kyogre. <laughs> I hate Kyogre, man. Just too powerful. Such a strong Pokemon. Okay, I mean, we still definitely, I mean, if he has Incineroar in the back end, Incineroar can do some work on me. Because we do not have any flying moves. But we take out Kyogre, and we still have Yabeltal here. We still have Yabeltal. We do have Metal Burst, but Metal Burst really isn't going to do anything. The Dynamax is pretty solid. I was just super surprised he Dynamax had Kyogre. That was a great play by him. Great play by our opponent. We got to bring out Yabeltal here and try to get some work done. We have the Black Glasses, but uh, hopefully, again, no Incineroar. Tornado's going to come out here. I don't mind Tornado's. don't mind that one bit. And it's going to be Calyrex, right? It's got to be Cali. It's got to be Cali, right? It is going to be Calyrex. Not a bad turn. Not a bad turn. We foul play into that slot and we get after him. Foul play into that slot and we get after him. Well, my Dynamax turns are over. It was not too bad. It is not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, foul play's definitely got to poke out here. Foul play can do a ridiculous amount of damage on him. He could protect. I definitely see that happening. But I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to Dragon Claw right into Tornadus. Just in case he protects. I don't want to double down to Calyrex if he protects. This is going to Hurricane. He outspeeds me, and he's going to go after Radon, who might be able to eat that up. Of course he doesn't. That, that's awful. How, how, do you, how do you not eat that up? Not very effective shot. Did a lot of damage. Foul Play's going to come in high here. and Oh, that thing's Life Orb. Surprised by how much damage he did. Foul Play's poking here, and it takes him out. Oh, no way you're sashed. He's not sat. No way he just lived on one. You just lived on one, dude. How? Oh my god, this game stinks, man. And I die instantly. All my Pokemon are dying instantly. This guy's just like, yo, let me rub it in your face and live on one. But that's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. We go one and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles for today's video. Went one and two. The first battle was definitely really close. Second battle was even closer, but we ended up coming out on top. And then that third and final battle was just whack. I cannot believe that Caldrax survived on one HP. Like, get on out my face. If he doesn't survive that, I feel like Yvelta has a strong shot at actually winning that battle. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.